Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Today, we're going to be answering your political questions. And when I say we, I mean me and a whole cadre of invisible beings that you can't see, uh, but they're here and they help me do these videos. I am channeling this information 40% Susan, 60% spirit guides. I think they have some things to tell us that we're probably not going to like to hear. And that is why, my friends, we came up with 1-800-SPIRIT-GUIDES, press one for complaints, even though the line is always busy. Anyway, let's get started. The first question that I see in front of me, and I, again, you guys, I'm having computer problems. I'm using an old new computer with a whole new configuration, so hopefully this works. But if not, I'll continue to work on the problem. So let me tell you that Bonafide Gale has a question. I think it's a question that we all have, to be honest with you. And uh, the question is, how far will the right get in trying to stop all contraception? And seriously, why take this serious chance of losing more votes for what? For what reason? Well, um, okay, so the spear guys want to use this metaphor of what is it that's at once the cow is out of the barn? You know what I mean? Like, are they cowboys? Are they farmers? Are they ranchers? I don't know. But anyway, meaning that, yeah, see this, I have to explain this whole metaphor, right? So what they're trying to say is that these people have gone too far already. I mean, they already signed the ticket. I am crazy. There's no going back. There's no way you're going to undo this. The, the cow is out of the barn. You can't put it back in. Okay. Once that happened, you've noticed that they've just doubled down on everything. They don't care if they're lying. They don't care if they get caught lying. They don't care if it's literally absurd what it is that they're trying to do. Like we see Cannon doing, Judge Cannon doing just really absurd things. Um, they don't care anymore. It, it, they're past the point of saving themselves. They're past the point of rewriting the narrative. The cow's out of the barn. So they might as well go all the way. And in this way, it's, it's yeah, it's like they have nothing left to lose. So they might as well go for the gold. They might as well just do it. Because there's the scary part of what I'm telling you and what they're showing me is, is that there, there, we've talked, the guides have talked about this before. If you run up against a fence, uh, it, you can move it. Do you know what I mean? Like you can kind of run into it and shove it an inch this way and then run back and shove it an inch this way. You know, it's only an inch, but it's an inch. So in this way, they're moving precedents. They're moving the law to the right. And it's much harder for us to go back and bring it all the way to the center. When we go to correct these things, we're going to be able to bring it back to the right of the center. Easier than to the center, because people are getting used to all this super, super far right of center. So this is why they're doing it there. Again, the guides are telling me they've said this many times. This is a generational thing. This all started back with Reagan. Some of it started back with Johnson. That's what they're telling me. I don't understand, but that's what they're telling me. And then Reagan and, you know, all those people around the neocon, the neoconservatives, the Tea Party, these are the people who began this. They have a generational view. They're happy to work on this forever. And in that way, they don't care. They, they simply do not care if they're branded crazy. They don't care if they're branded uh, un-American, they don't care. They know what they want. And what they want is the Christo-fascist paradigm, which is, you know, I mean, I don't know what Christo-fascist is, but I'm going to tell you what the spirit guides tell me it is. And that is this sense of kind of two things at play. It's sort of like this oligarchy. You know, they really admire Russia with the oligarchs. You know, you have the money and, and make no mistake, that Russia is all mostly white, okay? And all the power brokers are white. <laughs> and so, and they're mostly men. So here's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to have an American oligarchy. We've talked about this in regards to my favorite person, not really, Liz Cheney. We told you guys a long time ago, 
there's two groups in the Republican Party. This is before it burned down. And we also told you it was going to burn down. When Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger got out of the Republican Party by saying, we're not signing off on your craziness. We're Republicans. We voted for Donald Trump and we voted with Donald Trump over 90% of the time. But we're going to stop at this line. That line was legalities. That line was going to prison. That's when they said, no, we're not doing that. Number one. Number two, they said, we're for American oligarchs, not Russian oligarchs. So the Spear Guides told you guys last year, you take the Republican Party and you can split it into two groups. One group is okay, not even okay, but uh, is uh, courting outside money, courting Russian money, courting mostly Russian, but some other countries as well. And they're happy to give away America to those countries. They're happy to do it because they sign off on this autocrat, dictator, oligarch, Christo-fascist energy. This is what they want. They want a class system where white men are number one. Women are down somewhere. Brown people are so far down, you, you know, who knows where they are. And that's that. that. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. So now that the cow's out of the barn, they can't, they can't take this back. Oh, shucks, I was just kidding. That ain't going to work. That's not going to work. So now what they're doing is hoping to move the ball down the field as far as they can. That's what they're doing. So part of this is this contraception thing. It's about control. It's about I control women. I control other everybody. I'm a white man. I control everybody. You get pregnant when I say you're going to get pregnant. You know, it's all these originalists on the Supreme Court, the original constitution. They want to go back to the 1800s? Well, we saw Arizona. Was it not Arizona, the state? that literally reenacted a freaking abortion bill from the 1800s or something is clear. It's clear, you guys. There's, there's just no way you can see this any other way. Abortion is about control. Contraception is about control. Now, how far will they go? Well, they'll go as far as they can. I mean, if they get in office, they'll go as far as they can. And, and what I see kind of setting up, whereas I don't see, and I have seen this in the past, but I don't see it now. I don't see a orchestrated effort to uh, attack anybody. I don't see that because the DOJ, the January 6th committee, everybody has done a really good job of, of arresting these people. And as a matter of fact, a guy just got arrested um, recently this is great. Now, I, I read about this, but I heard more of it through ECM. If you're not following Resistance Live on YouTube, you should be following Resistance Live on YouTube. We're about to go through a thousand court cases and union and attorney who speaks plain English, who's in, in our court, who's a firebrand to help you understand what's going on. So anyway, ECM, Elizabeth was saying that there's this woman who made it her own personal vendetta to go after January 6th people, men, by putting a fake profile on Bumble, which is a dating site, and then specifically asking for men that were at Jan 6, you know, like glorifying them, like making it sexy. So she has been, she has been responsible for putting a few of these people down but these men, they contact her, she gets them to talk about it, and then she calls the FBI, and then they get arrested. This recent guy got seven years in prison from Miss Bumble. I mean, this is it, man. This is this is how you do it, right? Sometimes we just have to do it the way we need to do it, whether it's one person, one woman doing what you got to do. So I don't see that because because so much of these people have been put in jail and into prison. I, I don't see that. Now, what I do see is things like this. Where we are now, where we are now is not a is not a sane place. I, I am a little concerned. I'm not 
ready to leave the country yet. I still know Biden is going to win. I still know the Democrats are going to get the House and the Senate. However, however, we're we're going to inherit a shite show because, well, because you have the states doing things like this, passing these incredibly horrible anti-woman laws, going after con contraception in the states. I'm not saying they have support for it. I'm saying that they can pass the law because these jokers have the power to pass the law. And then, my friends, what I saw happening will happen, which is this summer, everybody going berserk. Although the timeline is now slid towards August, September, October. I see this mostly on college campuses. I see the summer, the summer kind of being a little bit quiet in a sense, especially compared to what I see for early fall. So what's going to happen is these jokers are going to try to pass this in the state houses. I, I don't know. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. But this is their belief. And they have the power. Because when those Republicans voted them in, they didn't quite understand just how crazy of a crazy they signed on the dotted line for. So you're going to have mayhem and chaos because who I see really snapping their heads around and becoming extremely engaged and extremely, the word I'm getting is volatile, is college students. And it, it could be about contraception. It could be about, I'm not ruling out the fact that these states could actually pass the word I'm getting as draconian laws about even race relations. Uh, I don't even know how. I, I don't know how it could get worse, but I feel like it's going to get worse. So your question is, how far will it go? It'll go as far as we let it go. Now, I will say I'm going to put a, I'm going to do something. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Stay tuned. But the spirit guides have been talking to me for a solid month about this. Every day I walk my dog and every day they talk to me about this. You, we have to be involved. We, we can't even let one of these people stay in office. I mean, forget winning the House, forget winning the Senate. Th that's not even enough. We've got to get into the state houses. We've got to get, we, we have to create such a margin of plurality in our Congress so that we can address the Constitution, so that we can address the filibuster, that we can really get things done. But here's what the spirit guides have been talking to me about. We can very easily, I mean, it's so easy. You can go onto a site, Google yard signs or cheap yard signs or whatever. They all have designing software right there. You can design your own yard sign, you can print it out, and you can get it in your mailbox or in your front door in like a week. And what I think that we should do, and what the spirit guides have been saying, is all of us, especially me, people in red states, people in, like I'm in a place that used to be blue in Texas, but now it's so red, I don't even have political stickers on my car. I don't put political signs out. It's, it's scary. You don't know what these people will do, so it's not worth it. It's not worth risking my life over a Democrat sign. I mean, I'm really not, this is not hyperbole. We don't know down here. But instead, here's how we do it. Instead, you print a sign. I'm going to put something on the screen that I've already designed. It's super simple. Republicans voted against birth control. Vote against Republicans. Put you put signs like that. Ted Cruz voted against birth control. Vote Ted Cruz out. I'm not saying that I'm a Democrat. I'm saying I'm pro birth control. And I'm pretty sure that if you walked up and asked 99 people out of 100 on the street, 99 of them would say they're for birth control. Okay. 
This is a win-win thing. All we have to do is make the average Joe aware, and Jill aware of what's happening. They don't know what's happening. They're not clued in. CNN is not helping them. That's part of another problem. Put up yard signs everywhere. Women's care is health care. Whatever crazy thing your Republican has voted against, get a yard sign. Get five of them. Call your local Democrat club and say, let's pool our money and let's all order 100 of these things so we can get it down to, you know, $4 a sign or something. But you can print your own. But the goal is to have a 100, a 1,000 Republicans voted against birth control signs everywhere. I mean everywhere, on every street corner. Because that's how we're going to take away their power. If we wait until October, when people wake up and see what's happening, and then we have mayhem in the streets, not MAGA mayhem, blue mayhem, liberal mayhem, and frankly, people that don't even vote who are like, what? You know, because believe me, they may have heard about the convictions. So they're here. They're going to hear about abortion. Somebody's going to have some big abortion problem that they know they're going to be here. They're going to hear about not being able to get birth control. They're going to be here. It's going to take just a few more things to put them over the edge. These are people who don't vote, people who no, probably not even registered. Well, they're going to get in the streets and they're going to be mad. They're going to be really mad. OK, so they'll go as far as we let them. Honestly, they really will. And I've explained why. Um, and I think, I, yeah, I've explained why. So let me move on. Uh, Susie Hatcher says what's going on with the Kansas Republicans. They are saying that voters rights are not part of the state constitution. They just said voters' rights are not part of the state constitution. They were pretty quiet until Trump's 34 felony convictions. This is what I'm saying. The guides are saying the cow's out of the barn. They've got nothing. They're dead man walking. Remember, the guides keep saying that. What that means is this is a dangerous person. This is a dangerous group of people. And I don't mean dangerous in the sense of violence per se, but in the sense of power, of state house power. And also this constitutional crisis, you know what? I did a video where I talked about constitutional crisis a long time ago and the guides brought it back up to me and I thought, oh, I need to go back and watch that video. But it's not about that. It, it's a different constitutional crisis. It's a different constitutional crisis because, well, we have our Supreme Court thumbing their nose at everybody, everybody at settled law at anything and everything. They don't, at ethics, they don't care. So that's a rogue Supreme Court, highest court in the land. We have Missouri. Also, Texas did the same thing. I'm pretty sure some other red states have done it as well, where they've said, uh, no, we don't care about federal law. I believe Texas even thumbed their nose up at the Supreme Court of the United States. So these red states are going to say, we've got nothing left to lose, nothing. We might as well burn it all down. If we're going down, the ship is going down too. So this is what you're going to see. Unfortunately, I think you're going to see the most heinous, bizarre, racist, misogynist, horrific, anti-American actions coming out of these state houses. And also out of our house through the Republicans. And um, and I, I know I'm giving you guys a bunch of bad news, but I'm you asked the question, I, I have never been the psychic to put lipstick on a pig. It's a pig. I don't have lipstick for it. It's a pig. So on top of that, the thing that I'm really worried about is our media. So epoch, epoch, Times, E-P-O-C-H, the Spirit Guides told me about this people three years ago. Well, their founder has now been found liable, guilty, or accused of, or some kind of thing like that. All kinds of fraud. And 
this newspaper or media outlet is it's a allegedly it is a cult okay but i got real surprised when i saw bigger than dallas a sign in Houston, a big, huge freeway billboard advertising their Epic Times as a news source. I thought, where did they get the money for that? And oh my God, everybody's always made fun of this. This is not anything, any, it's like if the National Enquirer said, we're a great news source. We're like the Walter Cronkite of all news. You know, you would laugh. But now all of a sudden they have pivoted to be a trusted news source. And I'll tell you guys, I'll put it on the screen. I saw a stack of the newspapers, which I didn't even know they printed newspapers. I saw a stack of these newspapers on the counter at the Walgreens. Do you understand how insidious this is? Do you understand how important this is? We have cult media in the counter on the Walgreens, right? So, and the last thing I would say about that is uh, several more media things have been influenced or bought by Murdoch. Daily Beast used to be a pretty reasonable, neutral to left media source, the Daily Beast. Well, they threw out the woman who was running it. They replaced her with a MAGA person or at least a, a person who is very right wing and uh, Murdoch owns it. And so that's another media source down. New York Times, down. Washington Post, same thing, down. Wall Street Journal, same thing, down. All of our media, I, I did that video about cyber attacks. I hope you watch it, it's important. Twitter, bought by Elon Musk, taken offline. They're literally capturing our media to be able to feed people before the election a bunch of lies and slanted media, if not outright lies. Okay, so yeah, we're thick in it right now. We, we told you guys, this is it. This is, this is the moment in time that we have to get through. And that's why in that last video, I had a picture of Biden on the, on the, the helm of a boat, but the back of the boat was on fire. The United States is on fire, but he's going to pilot us to safety. We're going to get there in a hell of a shape, but we're going to get there. Now, the good news. Oh, there's good news. The good news is, is that the spirit guide started telling you guys last year, dissolution, dissolving. Everything was going to be dissolving. I know this has an astrological component that I don't know right now, but I know that it has an astrological energy to it. So the good news is, is that 45 and these jokers, these crystal fascist jokers are dissolving, seriously dissolving our whole democracy and also our republic and also our constitution but that's okay believe it or not that is okay want to know why because we also talked about this with astrologers that the united states has an astrology chart we're coming back around to the times where the the planets the stars whatever the hell they are are in the same placements as when we were born and guess what when we were born we were mfers we were MFers. We came here. We killed all the Native Americans. We enslaved people. We created a constitution that said humans weren't even humans unless you were 100% white. Come on. We were MFers. For real. Well, guess what? We're going to fix that. Because our wound is here once again. And we get another opportunity to go back and look at that wound. To go back and feel how horrible it really was. And then we get an opportunity to do it differently. But you can't do something differently by putting lipstick on a pig. You can't put lipstick on the pig and then call it Martha. It's still a pig. We got to go all the way back to the beginning. 
and we've got to reimagine our United States of America with the all the people that, that are here, the Native Americans, all of the people who've been damaged and hurt by those conquistadors. They're not really conquistadors. I know the conquistadors were here, but those conquestors, that's what they wanted to say, those conquestors who came here and conquested this country, this, this land, and then pushed everybody out, killed people, whatever. We're going to make amends for that. And th there's no, we don't have a choice here, to be honest with you. That's why this stuff is burning down to the ground. We get to let it burn to the ground. And then, and then, Jeffries will walk through the smoldering pieces and Biden and everybody else in our elected officials who are sane and democratic will rebuild it. We'll say, okay, we got an opportunity. It's a lot like when the a disaster strikes your hometown and a lot of the buildings are gone and you get to come together as a community and say, well, now that we have to rebuild, how many, I, I did this in my hometown when a hurricane hit my town, not my hometown, but we literally had to have a committee of citizens and decide how many high rises are we gonna allow? How many more houses are we going to allow? What kind, you know, we need to rebuild. How are we going to do it? Let's all get together and let's all have a say and let's all put forth a plan. That was us, the citizens did that. We put forth a plan that then became law for this community. So this is what we're going to be doing. So as you see, everything going bonkers. I want you to understand they're dismantling it for us. I do not see them dismantling it for them. Because the funny thing about, uh, they were just telling me this the other day. The funny thing or the good thing about the United States of America is that it's so big. It's too hard to, to take over. So five states get crazy and Biden has to send the National Guard, you know, that it's not it's not a civil war. It's not a civil war. It's the National Guard shows up, nabs these people, puts them in jail, puts them before a court and we move on. That's what it is. But they gave me this example. Do you recall during the pandemic? And maybe you don't. But we ran out of coins. We ran out of change. The United States of America, where money should be an alienable right. I mean, we should be able to go to a store and pay with $5 and get $3.75 back. But we couldn't. We didn't have any coins. Now, if that had happened to America, to the United States of America, in the 30s, well, there'd be a run on the banks. There would have been a complete and total disaster. The whole American people would have gone nuts and we would have been in a big trouble. If it had happened in the 60s and 70s, I believe the same thing. But now we're so much more malleable. We're just taking things in stride. It's an irritation, but you know what? We're dealing with it. So I feel like in this way, even though we're going to be challenged by these states, we're going to be challenged by these Christo fascist idealists. We're not going to turn into a Christo fascist state because Americans don't want it. Americans don't want it. They're not voting for MAGA Christo fascist. All the MAGAs that run and have been running, the majority of them have lost. They don't want it. What we're seeing is the people that are in power are brandishing their power in an outsized way because that's all they got. And they're going, they're going down with the ship. So they're going to you know, make it worth the, the effort to go down. Because maybe, 
three generations later, whatever we don't undo, somebody might come along and do it, pick it up and run with it. It's the same energy behind the Supreme Court with the immunity. I think the Supreme Court's going to kick it back down to the state, but I also think that that's going to leave a door open. The guides told me this, they, they just want to leave a cracked door open in case, because these people are forever optimists. I told you guys, look, Roger Stone was involved in Nixon and he's back now. They never lose hope. They're always trying to get to that place that, that they want to be where the white man is king. So if they leave that door cracked open in the Supreme Court, they're thinking maybe in a generation or two generations or whatever. Maybe Roger Stone's grandkid or maybe somebody's grandkid will come up and challenge it again. These are lessons. The lessons continue until you become an expert at the lesson and you stop falling for the trigger of the lesson. How do we do that? We all get really involved. We can no longer be the people who say, I don't have time or I'm not really that thrilled about my local Democrat or I'm or in my case, there are no local Democrats to even run. You guys, if we don't run somebody and then support the heck out of them, we're never going to get there. You don't run a marathon by getting up off your couch and running a marathon. You don't change your district to blue by waiting for it to be blue. You change it to blue. You put those signs out there everywhere that says Republicans want to take away your birth control because they just voted to take away your birth control. You guys, this is this this is our they gave us a gift. This is our gift. We don't have to say we hate Republicans. We can say and I, I don't care. And people say, oh, Susan, I thought you were better than this. I'm not better than this. You guys don't even know the real Susan. I'm channeling this, this stuff. This is the God's talking. But Susan would say, I'm a Republican and I'm really disappointed in Ted Cruz because, uh, you know, I need my birth control. You know, uh, I can't believe I think Ted Cruz has lost his mind. What, what is he thinking? He voted against birth control. You know, I think I'm going to have to sit this election out or I'm going to have to really consider voting for Ted Cruz's opponent because this they've gone too far. Talk to them like you're a Republican. Play like you're a Republican. Put the doubts in their minds. Am I being an asshole? Maybe I am. I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm not a spiritual person. I'm a freaking human being that channels spiritual people. <laughs> I This is war. This is... This is not an opportunity. This is not a time where you sit and you say, oh, I hope they treat us better. Gosh, darn it. I you know, no, 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 no. I'm if, if I'm subterfuge, if I'm behind enemy lines, I'm surrounded by Republicans. I got to talk to them any way I can. If I was in Nazi Germany, you better believe that I would find that one soldier who had some kind of freaking heart somewhere. And I would be just saying, gosh, this seems really barbaric. I, I can't do this. I don't know. I just, you know, you know what I mean? Like introduce doubt. The fox in the hen house. I did a whole video called the donkey in the hen house. The guides are still talking about it. This is the spirit guides telling me this. This is how we do it. Is it bleak? Maybe. Are they really flexing all the muscles they have because they know that's all they have? Yes. Is it going to look scary and ugly? Yes. Are they going to win? No. We can either do this the easy way or the hard way. The hard way is Americans wake up in October and all hell breaks loose. And it might anyway. And honestly, by the time we get there, Biden is also going to be in a place where he says, I don't give a rat's. You know what? If Texas wants to stare me down, I will send troops directly to their door. There, no F's given. Do you understand what I'm saying? Biden is at that place where he understands what's at stake. And there's no room 
for looking like you're bipartisan. When you were in Nazi Germany, there was no room to look like both sides have got something going on. At some point, one side is fucking wrong, right? At one point, that side is wrong and there's no two sides about it. And that's where we are now. They're wrong. And the Democrats are going to step into that, into that breach. And they're going to hold all the power and they're going to wield all the power because this is what's going to be required. There won't be any. Let's try and reach across the aisle and find two Republicans. Let you know, we want to be bipartisan. I'm sorry. That's over. The Republican Party has literally been co-opted by other countries that want to see the downfall of America. I said it in the cyber war video. We are at war right now. This is war. And I honestly think Biden, you might hear Biden say, I am unleashing the War Powers Act. Not for bombs. Not for troops, but for people that can deal with disinformation and shutting down the media. They, the guides have said this to you for a year. We're going to lose our freedom of speech to a degree. The guardrails are going to come in. We have to. We have to. It, there's no other way around it. Now, I know they just talked about a lot of things and none of them were your questions. and. I'm sorry about that, but this is this is the lay of the land. Uh, if you watch me, you're probably used to that. Um, and and it's important to know the lay of the land. I'm trying to see how long. OK, I've been recording. Let me just try and grab a few other questions. I, I'll do another video. Oh, goodness gracious. Six alive. I don't even know what just happened. My spirit guides. <laughs> My spirit guides got a hold of the computer. There's actually something else I'm supposed to be doing right now. And they literally opened the web page for that thing. They're so cute. I just love them. All right. Let me do a few more questions, guys. Leave me your questions in the chat. You know what I mean? In the in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. But this this is the world. I just want you to understand. Don't lose hope. Don't freak out. They are dead man walking. They're crazy. They'll do anything. Because it might work. I mean, if you are that cornered you're not just gonna these people are not just gonna say okay we give up arrest us <laughs> they're not gonna do that they're gonna fight and bite and snarl and spit and that's what we're seeing and that's what we're gonna see and the democrats have to raise the ante to match that this this is this is what's going on all these crazy republicans are saying can you get as mean in us as us? Because if you can't get as mean as we are, if you can't use whatever powers that you have bestowed upon to you to deal with us lawfully, you lose the republic. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And you're going to see no more Mr. Nice Dems because we have to. We absolutely have to. Um, so one question here from this person who doesn't have a name is, when is Trump going to be history? This is another thing you're not going to like. I can just see all the all the comments now. Susan, we didn't like this video. Um, okay. I and every other amazing psychic, and I mean truly, we have truly gifted with some amazing psychics. Because if you weren't watching all of us, you wouldn't have this information that the Dems are still going to win. You wouldn't have this information that the Dems are going to woman up and man up. You wouldn't have this information how to fight back. Just think, you could be out there trying to figure out how to move out of the country. So all psychics that I that I know, we've all seen 45 being history. We've all seen him getting sick and crossing over or becoming, you know, um, rattled, uh, having some sort of dementia or being detained in some sort of secure location. Three things. I've never changed this. Not once have I changed this. Not once. Three options. He has free will. I can't tell him what to do. 
So the thing that I don't like, which I just learned yesterday from my spirit guides is, is that, you know, he is here to teach us a lesson. He, this isn't just some punishment. It's not, I guess you could say it's karma for our wound. You know I mean? You could say that because here's a guy who epitomizes everything that those conquesters epitomized. Is he not? Is he not like one of those guys that would have landed on this soil? in the founding of this country, he's exactly like them. <laughs> so here we are with our opportunity to say, no, we don't want that. We're not that. We've grown as a, as a, as a human race, as a, as a citizenry. We've grown. We're not that anymore. Okay? But 45 is here to teach us a lesson, and I think that he's going to be around a little bit longer than I originally thought because the lesson is activated. Look, it's like this. If you have a lesson with this person, be they a friend, a coworker, a spouse, even a child, an adult child, if you have a lesson with them and you could say to them, I'm done. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go no contact with you because you are a narcissist and there's no way that I can have any kind of healthy relationship with you. I've discovered that. I figured that out. I'm going to go no contact with you. If you don't choose that, you choose more lesson. If you do choose that, you choose no more lesson. We could go no contact with 45 by putting him in prison. We wouldn't need the lesson anymore. When 45 goes to prison, all his little minions, it's like the air gets sucked out of them and they all just, you know, you know, they showed me this analogy. If you guys remember your long term viewers, remember when they were talking about the convention? Here we are almost at the convention. And I saw Trump is not the he's not the candidate. He's not the presidential candidate. And I said, I see chaos. And then I said, I see all these. Republicans, it's like their battery went out and they just went, Ear-oh. you know, their battery went out. So when Trump goes, Ear-oh. the money, the support for all of these inner circle of Trump, the, the power goes out. The inner circle is what I'm talking about. So these people, if we don't, if we don't, Pull the plug on the power of a 45 by putting him in prison. And instead, we allow him to have some kind of house arrest where he gets to sleep in his own bed and he gets to still campaign. Then we're signing up for more lesson. I hate to tell you, I'm going to put a warning on this video and just say, don't watch this video. Just don't watch it. I don't, if you watch this video, you cannot complain. Like, don't go any further. Stop here. I'm, I am. I swear to God, I'm going to do that because I, I can't handle the all the the gloom and doom. I can't. It's too much. I'm not being gloom and doom. I'm telling you what's going on and I'm telling you that it's not going to work. But you need to know how bad it's going to get. Forewarned is forearmed. If you don't know what to expect when it hits you, you're going to be knocked off of your senses. You're going to be knocked off of your own power center. And then you're not going to be able to text a bank, to volunteer, to put out those yard signs because you're going to feel hopeless. Hopeless is how they win. So please don't comment that I'm hopeless. Please don't do that. I'm not hopeless. I'm trying to help you understand what's happening. So Trump may stick around a little bit longer because we might opt for that lesson. So if the judge, sentencing him to house arrest with a big fine, even if it's a big fine, even if it's a hundred million dollars, I don't even care. It doesn't matter. He's not going to pay it anyway. I mean, he'll get a, some kind of, you know, loan shark, probably straight from Russia through some bank that just opened yesterday and, and, you know, Florida loan. Then we're going to have to deal with Trump some more. What does that mean? It means that 
when we when we it means that those people, those voters, those people in your community that didn't that nobody put up the yard signs, that nobody put up the yard signs saying your birth control is about to be removed, vote accordingly, go to our local Democrat club for more information, or vote against Republicans or whatever you want to say, or ask your local Republican or whatever you want to say, if we don't do the work, then these people are going to wake up when, when Trump is literally, you haven't seen anything yet. The spirit guides just showed me him like King Kong going through New York City, ravaging New York City. You haven't seen anything yet. Give a dead man walking with basically, you know, I know they keep using that term, but that's what they're doing, right? He's got a sentence. His life is over, whether it's energetic or not. His life is over. You don't give that kind of person free reign to wreck your society. But we might. And if we do, well, then we'll have to man up. What does that mean? So the guides just said, they just showed me a picture of everything being so out of control that Biden says, okay, I'm going to executive power the hell out of this place. I'm going to executive power everything I possibly can. I'm going to try to run this country myself. Seriously. Number one, number two, you're going to see the DOJ step up times a thousand. These cases against Republicans in our Congress. Two, because we need those hundred arrows against them too. We have a hundred arrows. Only five are going to stick because the system is rigged. The judges are rigged. Cannon is rigged. I believe my opinion. Allegedly. So. You're going to see everything move faster. You're going to see the court expanded faster. You're just it's exactly what they just said. The Democrats are going to take everything in hand and rule as if they have the majority and don't give a damn. Maybe that's November 15th or November 20th or even January 15th or 20th, but they will do it. They'll get rid of, they'll get rid of these laws. They'll pass laws. They'll pass ethic laws for the Supreme Court. They'll impeach Alito. They'll impeach Thomas. They will do it. I promise you they will do it because they'll have to, because we will be at this place in our democracy, in our republic of dissolution that they know they have to do it. And this is the energy that we have experienced nonstop this entire time, which is we get to the 11th hour and then action is taken and we, we save ourselves to do the whole thing over again. How many times have we gotten to the 11th hour with our own state, with our, with our own U.S. budget? paying our bills, 11th hour. We've gotten to the 11th hour over and over and over again. And unfortunately, that's the energy. Maybe it's astrological. I don't know. Maybe it's just that we don't have the cojones, you know, female or male, to do this, to stand up for what's right, to believe what's really happening is happening. These people really are Christo-fascist Nazis. There is no bipartisan here. The Republican Party's gone. I already did a video about this now one year ago. One year ago, I did a video telling you guys the Republican Party was gone. We are now here. Everything all of us have been talking to you about. Now we're here. Yes, we're going to win the election. Yes, we're going to have the majority. But I think we're going to see some pretty ballsy, bonkers things between now and then. And it'll make you feel better if you take action. 
go and volunteer at a, a senior citizen center, at a library, at a community fair, at a food bank, and for sure, at some political person's campaign. If they're running, we owe them everything. We owe them our money, our time, our support. We owe them to, to make room in our busy schedules to help them. Because two years from now, if we don't do this and we don't clear the slate of these crystal fascist Nazis, you're going to wish you had. You're going to wish you had found this extra hour. You're going to wish you had went ahead and done that text banking. It's too late then. We have to do it now, okay? Because yes, we're gonna win, but we need to add extra seats because we can't topple the filibuster unless we have the seats to do it. We cannot impeach Thomas and Alito unless we have the seats to do it. We cannot expand the court unless we have the seats to do it. We cannot bring back Roe Ro if we don't have the seats to do it. We can't fix the voting rights if we don't have the seats to do it. We can't fix health care if we don't have the seats to do it. We need extra, extra seats. And just bet on 20% of the votes are going to be unaccounted for. So not only do we need to bring, not only do we need to win this, you know, fair and square by one vote over, we need to win this by 20% over just to get that one vote over. So we got to come in numbers, big, big numbers. You know, 45 came out yesterday and said, we have to swamp the vote. That's what he said. And he's now pro voting by mail, pro voting by any way you can. He said, vote any way you can, swamp the vote. Want to know why? Because he knows his people are disenfranchised, dis in whatever. They're not happy with him. He knows that. He's dangerously desperate. Dangerously desperate. And I think somehow, I could be wrong. I would love to be wrong. But I think somehow, he's going to somehow hold his health together, as fragile as it is, for a few more months. And that's the new thing that I saw. He's not gonna go out right now because America's in the middle of the lesson. And we need him to learn the lesson. He is the lesson. So he's gonna stick around to make sure we learn it. And when we learn it, then he can leave. We don't need him anymore. So I'm going to actually in this video, I haven't even talked about any of your questions, but I think I've talked about your questions in general. Um, and I think I needed to get this out because it was very um, an impassioned channeling. Um, again, everything is going to be OK, but. We've hit bottom and now we're going to roll around in the mud of the dankest, darkest, nastiest, foulest bottom. And that's for a purpose. So we don't do it again. So we realize and we know without any shroud of a doubt how horrible it really is. We have to all experience how horrible, how terrible, how dank and foul it really is to allow our republic to be taken over by Christo fascist Nazis. This is our lesson. This is the final exam. We're going to pass it, but I would like to pass it with an A plus and not a C or a D because D's and C's allow for more lessons. Okay. In the meantime, despite all that, we need you to be healthy and okay and sane at the end of this because wouldn't it suck, you know? to let the stress eat you up 
and make you unwell. Okay? You're that's letting all of them win. So instead of that, I want you to compartmentalize your day. I want you to take a portion of your day and spend it doing something you like. Put a puzzle together, watch a movie, read a book, get out in nature, make a phone call to somebody. Spend another part of your day volunteering, being active. Action will solve your depression. It'll make you feel better about things. You'll feel better that you went out and you helped that person, you helped that group or that charity. And it'll make you feel better if you put some little elbow grease towards our political race that we're doing right now. It's really a war towards our towards the battlefield of democracy. You know, you can text bank for a candidate in a different city, a different state. They just give you the numbers and you text. You can handwrite postcards. You can send five dollars. You can buy their gear and you can print off your own yard sign. I'm telling you guys, this is covert and it's going to work. People are going to ask you, what do you mean? And you're going to hold your phone up and say, here it is where your senator, our senator, voted against this. Or you're going to hold your phone up and say, yeah, these six senators voted against this, or 10 or 12 or however many it was. They happen to be Republicans. I think they've lost their mind. I think the Republican Party's lost their mind. You just put a seed of doubt in that person's mind. You educated them, but you put a seed of doubt in their mind. They're going to go home and start talking to people. And they're going to Google it. And they're going to start getting mad. And are you doing anything bad? No. Are you lying to them? No. You're simply educating them. And you're educating them in a way that doesn't put a us versus them, an R or a D or a red or a blue. It puts a human. Okay? Take really, 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 really good care of yourself. I will come back with more of your questions answered. Probably drop that video on Sunday, maybe Saturday, maybe Saturday. I don't know. Just watch. If you subscribe and you click the bell notification, you'll know when I have a video out. But I will have a video out. I'm doing some collaborations next week as well. So that'll be interesting and fun. But it's going to be okay, guys. But it does look like the biggest shite show ever. But it is going to be okay. Um, and it'll be more okay if we do more to make it okay. That's it in a nutshell. Take good care. For entertainment purposes only.